Then came the force and not the Negro out. Out came the sun and still the Negro died. And the itsy, bitsy Negro. was never seen alive again. Not one dime, not one crime, not one line, not again, not my friends, not guilty, not going anywhere. I can't breathe, I can't be, I can't see, I can't see, I can't feel. We can't breathe, we can't be, we can't see, we can't see, we can't feel. Ice bucket challenge, staying alive challenge, shed no blood challenge, white privilege challenge, Jim Crow law challenge, black lives matter, white lives matter, Latino lives matter, men's lives matter, her life matters, their lives matter, matter of fact, all our lives matter. Die in, dive in, cry in, cry in, lie in, live in, lie in, no buy in. Hands up, don't shoot, grand courts, all moot, choke hold, no clue, stand up, don't move, shut it down, it's our town, black or brown, not this crown, I'm no clown, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. proud. No justice, no peace, no trust in police, no running, they'll reach. No loving, no loving, no loving, no loving, no loving, no loving, no loving my country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty, what happened to your sweetness? Thy art sour. So these next pieces are all my favorite types of poetry, known as the haiku. Uh, for those of you who may not know what a haiku is, it's an ancient Japanese poem that's made up of 17 syllables and three lines. The first line has five syllables. The second line has seven syllables. And the third line has Yes, well done. Yeah, math, math leads are in the building. <laughs> Someone always told me, don't insult your audience with sarcastic jokes. And I said, I'll try. And I fail every single time. <laughs> I was going to say something else. Uh, 575. Uh, so the following haikus are also all in the form of a question. So I'm going to need some help and some participation from the audience. Meaning, when you see my hand go in the air like such, I would ask that you say the word <laughs> laughter. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I would. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. It's like ridiculous. Uh, I ask that you say the word question. Like that. Like so. Let's give it a try. All right, so all right, it's all right. We were a little off there. <laughs> Some people that had their third drink. Uh, question, question, badly. It's all good. It's a test run. This is why we practice it before we get to the real deal. All right, so let's try this again. All right, it's a second try. So we jumped the gun a little early. It's okay. You're excited. I'm excited too. It's all right. All right. This time we're gonna get it. All right, we're gonna get it this time. All right. Take, take, all right, there it is. Take that, there we go, okay, right. Question! Oh, that was good. See, it usually takes three. Question! I need some energy, all right? Question! Question! What do we want? When do we want it? Who's going to give it to us? Question! Question! Are you prepared to be a guardian of this long-lasting movement? Question! Question! What if those cops who turned their backs chose to face injustice? 
What if those cops who turned their backs chose to face injustice? I always think about that image of those police officers. And this is all, you know, all due respect to any NYPD officer that's in here. If you're not in here, all right, fuck y'all, man. But, uh, but if you are in here, thank you for coming to the show. I do, the bartender, you know, all that. Um, but I think about those individuals who turn their backs and just wonder about that image and just wonder if you could turn your back to that, can you turn your back? If you could turn your back to injustice, that means you could turn your back to anything. That means you just don't give a fuck. And I know they don't represent the entire NYPD, but just think about that. What if we just happen to, the same way that those folks decided to turn their backs to the mayor, we have to be able to be prepared to face injustice, y'all. Let's get back into it. Question. Question. Is it 12 years a slave, or is it 12 years old and unjustly killed? Question. I need y'all, man. Question. Question. You are in love with the Coco. <laughs> but are you in love with the black folks? Thank you so much. It's such an absurd song. Man. Question, when the darkness is upon us, will we rise? Can you rise? Shall you rise? Question, are you willing to go zero to a hundred in fights for freedom? Seems like it's real slow in real life when it comes to fights for freedom. And my final question. Actually, I have two more. <laughs> my bad. Question. Question. You can walk a day in my shoes, but tell me, are you prepared to run? This is, my, this is my real last one, so I'm going to need some energy. I need y'all to come from the gutter. Question. Wouldn't you rather your hands be up so that you can reach for the stars? I would. I just want to say... Um, I mean, just reading these and thinking about the situation has me like heartfelt right now and in pain. And like I said, I can't remember the last time I cried prior to this, where in a matter of 10 days, I just felt like life was being taken away from me. And as an educator and as an artist, I just want to say I think it's essential that artists today that have a microphone in front of them, that have a voice to express to the world, to their communities. I think it's essential that you take that microphone and create that voice. There's nothing more powerful than a motherfucking artist, yo. Real talk. So, you know, I mean, I don't give a fuck what y'all do. But what you need to do is make sure that your voices are heard. So, I mean, like I said, I stopped everything that I had to do. My entire progress, I had deadlines that I had to miss because I said, yo, I need a microphone, I need a stage, and I need to write, and I need to create. And, you know, I, I don't want to bring this momentous celebration down, but I think it's just essential and important that events like this are happening so that artists can continue to develop and have that microphone. And I hate to take more time on this stage, but I just want to say that it's, it's so important. And uh, it means nothing, I mean, it means the most to me that we are here as a community, that we are here rocking out, having fun, but we're also working together. So again, my name is Mr. Jeff Des. I appreciate each and every one of you that are in this room today because again, I couldn't provide my voice to an empty room. And, and y'all make me work harder. And Mike, and Mike. <laughs> Spinful, <laughs> Spinful, <man>. my bad. <laughs>
I mean, I've known you for like almost 20 years, my nigga, like, I can call you Mike. So, one guy's for a call, one guy's for a call. But real talk, man, I don't get off this fucking stage, man. I just really appreciate y'all. Thank you to Mike Check Wednesdays for having me. Peace, my niggas. Make sure you